What's up people? Welcome to Kemper Corner here on Mix It Up. Today I want to show you the case I use uh, in transporting my Kemper and which I use live and I've made some uh, special adaptions to it and I'd like to show you how I use it. It really makes a uh, live use and also going back and forth to the practice room which I don't leave my Kemper in the practice room makes that much easier. So I'd like to show you here this the, the case I have. It's a case coming from Toman, and um, I'll just open it up. It, I have a toaster. You have these two wings here, and inside you have the toaster, and it's a special compartment here for the remote at the at the bottom there. You see, yeah. So some special adaptions I made, and I'll just turn this around. This is the back. You also just remove it with these two little butterfly twist things. What I've done here is I and I search high and low. I wanted to have a, a, a wireless system because live, I like the freedom moving around on stage and also even the practice room, to be honest, it's nice just not to have this cable around your feet, especially when I've got uh, to do switching and vocal effects and run around and look, uh, jump around like an idiot. So. What I did is I searched for a way I could fit a wireless in here and I found the Line 6 G50. Now the, I think the G30 will also fit but I wanted the, the better version. So I've got a wireless Line 6 G50, unfortunately it's out of production now but um, I think you can still buy them. And it just fits perfectly here. What I've done is I've done, I've made a bracket here. Um, and I made like a kind of an L bracket that just uh, goes in there and I bolted this to it. Uh, so, and then I, I just stuffed the power supply in the back here. I also made, found after some digging on Conrad, it's just a kind of a, a electrical multi supply store, kind of like a Radio Shack, what they have in the US. Um, I found this Y cable. So I, I made this so that I can plug in the adapter for the G, 50 and also the power supply for the camper. So when I go live, I just need to plug in one cable, boom, and it powers up the camper and this uh, G50. Yeah. The one thing about this, there, there are a few cases that look very similar to this. I believe there is one from maybe Music Store and I believe this might be one from Music House Corn. The difference is to the one from, uh, from uh, Toman is this one has like a backstop. So there's some I've seen, at least from the pictures I've seen, you could literally take the camper and pull it, you can go in and out in the case, but this one has a backstop here. And this backstop stops the camper from going backwards. And that's to me a much better setup than, than having the camper moving around. One thing though that I found with this one from Toman is that the, the cable going into the remote, um, it, it, it's actually uh, um, a little bit below this backstop. So what I had to do is make a modification there by just uh, cutting down the metal here, just so I can get the remote plugged in there. So that's kind of what I've done. And basically the, the convenience of this live is I take this case, I put it on top the the cab. I hook up the, the speaker cable here. Boom, like a, you would a normal amp. And the good thing is you don't need to worry about four ohms, eight ohms. It's it's all it's not tube, so it doesn't matter. Then I go here. I plug this in. I put on my guitar with the wireless unit. Turn that on. Turn this on. And once this is on, I've got power. Uh, I've got um, I've got uh, the wireless system, and I'm off and going. And then I take the remote. I usually coil up the remote cable in the back there. It fits it actually in the back there as well. Just uncoil it on the stage, put the remote in front of me, boom, off I go. It's just really simple live. I usually use it, I use the same setup in the practice room, to be honest. So I really like this case arrangement um, and how I've managed to fit that in. So what I'll do is I'll just go a little bit of a close up into how I fit that G50 in here. I'll move the camera a little closer there so you can see that. Right, so this is a little bit of close up on the back of this uh, case. You can see here, this is where the this uh, backstop was actually fouling. You couldn't plug the cable into the remote here because this backstop here is in the way. But okay, that's nothing a, a grinder can't get rid of. It doesn't look pretty, but it works. 
Um, this is a basically a plate. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's just like an aluminum plate that I put in the back there. And I put a little bit of rubber there to start in case the, the Kemper touches it. But it's basically just a piece of aluminum plate. You can see a little bit of it right up here. And I just uh, drilled some holes and bolted it in place. And then I put a big uh, tie wrap through it. So I just, it's basically tie wrapped in place with some, I put some Velcro on the back of that as well. And then I just stuffed the power supply in the back there. Here's your Y cable, boom. Again, convenience is key to me. Uh, you have the, cam uh, the remote living in here. I can coil up the cable. This coil cable just kind of coils up behind here. I usually, usually plug in the remote cable in here and also coil that in there. So it's literally cover, front cover off, rear cover off, speaker cable in, power supply, uncoil the remote cable, so I hope that was useful for you. I'll leave in the, the description below the link to the case I use. Um, the, also the Line 6 G50, I'll leave the link. You, I think you can probably Google that, but I'll leave the link anyway. Um, yeah, and I hope that was useful for you. And uh, I'll see you next time on Kemper Corner. Be safe out there, guys.